niggas want the recipe, I said it's all grind Had to go through in the rain to watch the day shine This testimony taken, fake my glory, go to God Said I'ma keep this pace, I ain't racing this marathon Package up in my carry on Too smooth, super shy vibe Sit back and play cool while we vibe out Sit and taste this food, have a drink in good time but we all living fast, but we gon' die fly. We gon' die fly. Do say my cup on this one. Shell. Malakai. Malakai. Malakai.
Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah. can come on. Wait, that's his photo. Undo everything here. Very first podcast ever. I gotta get on something done, man. Very first podcast ever. So I'm gonna take this time right now to also kind of update you, like what's been going on with life. Um, so for the past three weeks, well, the month of July, I've been a private chef for a NBA player who plays for the Knicks. And um, it was kind of a interesting situation. Um, if you see my, my Instagram post, I talked about it a little bit, but it was a, someone reached out to me um, who has relationships with uh, money managers, players, and people who have relationships with players and things like that. Um, to be their private chef. And he told me about the position. I was like, you know, very interested in the position. Um, it was kind of at the right time because July was moving just a little slow and having that extra income would be great. And then it was Monday through Friday, um, you know, just five days a week. So it wasn't really, it was a big commitment, but it really didn't affect um, a lot that I had going on. It just added extra work during the week. So if I had events on weekends or other things to do, it just kind of made it, you know, got to be on my shit, right? Um, but for the job, it was only $3,900 a month, which is, I think, one $190 a day for like five days a week, which is way below what I do. Um, usually for something like that, I charge $350 a day or upwards, just kind of depending on what they want. Um, with that type of service, I kind of do a complete service, right? So if I'm in your home doing in-home service with you, you know, I'm taking care of your grocery shopping for you. I'm taking care of your refrigerators. I'm cleaning the kitchen. I'm deep cleaning the kitchen. Um, you know, kind of doing, you know, if you need certain things around the house because I'm at the grocery store, I'm the one kind of doing that for you. And I kind of do, you know, a complete service. And so I charge accordingly for that. You know, you have to. Um, you know, there's, there's, like I said, there's private chefs who are making $200,000, $300,000 a year, you know, for doing these services. And it costs. But back to this. Um, so they only want to do 3900 plus groceries. I was a little mm, about it, but again, it was, you know, some extra chochos. Um, for the month. It was only like a two month contract, which was worked out perfect. Um, did the job, was doing a job, um, and they let me go. And I really didn't get like a too much of a reason. It was like, you know, they're, you know, just kind of particular things like that. But I really think that my food was a little too much for them. You know, I think they just wanted very like basic type foods. But when I really asked for like, hey, what do you want? You know, I really wasn't getting that communication back. I was getting, oh, what you're doing is great. What you're doing is fine. So I'm still doing what is great, what is fine. And, you know, kind of got the, the message. It was weird because it was a Friday, um, actually last Friday, um, when grocery shopping, came back for dinner, you know, just got there. Um, and I get a text message from my connect was saying, hey, you know, they, you know, they don't want to do your services anymore. And I was like, OK, cool. You know, do you still want me to finish cooking? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, you know, go ahead and finish dinner. I was like, OK, you know, did dinner. They cleaned the plate, you know, clean plate committee. And I was just like, all right, I'm out. You know, got all my stuff, took all my stuff, left. But it kind of uh, the weird thing about it 
is that that job was actually in the way of me doing the business, you know? Um, one thing Mr. James always said, Mr. James is kind of like a, you know, a business advisor of me, for me. Um, he said, you know, when, when jobs are getting away of your main job, you gotta let those jobs go. And it was in the way, you know, I really couldn't communicate with my clients. Um, I turned down several jobs. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm kind of, kind of going through, I don't know if the private side is really for me. Um, you know, when you, when you're in someone's home every day, multiple hours, multiple meals, you know, you get to know them, you get to know the family and those type of situations have to be right. You know, you can't go out chasing money and that's kind of what I did. I chased the money, you know, chase, don't attract, you know, you attract, don't chase. And I did that. And I kind of had to like myself because I didn't need to. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but things are still going. Like you see, I just got off the podcast, which was very first podcast in life. Like look at your boy, you know, got a lot of things going on for August setting up for September, so uh, the rest of the year is going to be great. Um, so we're about to go and get out of here for today. We're done for today. We are done for the day. And I'm going to grab me some food and we're going to figure out the rest of the day. Alright? family how y'all doing what's up so i'm out here in uh prairieville right outside baton rouge got a uh two-person dinner doing today it's a birthday dinner so i love these two persons dinner because uh you get to really do some some good culinary stuff you know but today's menu we're gonna do a uh Crab and peach summer salad, champagne or charbroiled oysters, pistachio crusted sea bass. Um, got some yellow cauliflower I'm gonna do, some collard greens, and a creme brulee. So I'm about to go ahead and get everything going, get everything set up. They just left to go and do what they do so I can do what I do. That's beautiful. Yellow cauliflower here. So I'm gonna show you a lot of action. Stay tuned. Thank you. 
much done with mise en place. Um, got a couple of things left that I have to do just trying to get ready. Waiting for them to get back. Dinner ready for five, it's about five, 4.45 or something like that. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to finish up real quick. So whenever they get here, we can sit down, decorate the table and be on with dinner. Trying to, trying to really work on my, um, my time my timing and things like that really get these dinners down to five hours or less. Um, and when I say about five hours, I mean like total time, right? So I'm told, like I usually get here two, three hours beforehand. Um, if dinner can go for at least an hour or so, an hour while I'm cleaning up and getting out. So when they're done with dinners, pack up, leave, that type of thing. So really trying to work on that. Um, but yeah. So I'm pretty much kind of done. Just kind of um, got the, the grill outside. I'm going to do the oysters on. The salad is ready. Um, creme brulees are ready. Like, I'm ready. Ready for showtime, right? Get y'all a little look. All right. I'm going to do a substantial fish. That is collard green pesto. This is the butter for charbroiled oysters. This is going with the salad. Also, um, peaches, cilantro, cumin, jalapenos, lemons for oysters, cheese for oysters. This is the crab mixture here. Uh, this is uh, the berries for the creme brulee and peach dressing sauce that's going on the bottom. For the cauliflower puree, you got that big, nice golden yellow cauliflower. Got some stewed off tomatoes here. Yeah, so I'm ready. Um, oysters have already been popped. Grills cleaned off, so hey, ready to get business. I need to shave one day, huh? Just looking at my videos and stuff, and all my videos I look like this rough. All right, I'm gonna get it together one day, y'all promise. All right, so let me get back to business. Thank you.